Hello everyone, welcome to another Let's Play of Quest for Glory 1. My name is Anna Mardal and today we have a problem. <laughs> or rather, I have a problem and I'm making it yours too. Um, if you will recall, when we created our hero, I selected a fighter and I gave him points in stealth, pick locking, and magic. And I said, unfortunately, we couldn't get points in climbing because uh, there's just not enough points. It takes 15 points to get uh, an untrained skill from zero to five. So I believed that you couldn't get four empty skills. And because of this, we couldn't play a fighter with climbing and I've been bemoaning the lack of climbing all game. Um, you can finish the game without climbing, but it's uh, it's a good skill to have, and it frustrates me because it means we get trapped in town at night if it's nighttime because you can't get over the wall. And plus, I just, you know, I'm a perfectionist, I'm a completionist. I, I actually do have OCD. Uh, I know that that's kind of a lot of people say, oh, I have OCD, I'm tidy. You know, I have actual OCD compulsions and one of those compulsions is getting all the points to be perfect but I couldn't do it for a fighter I thought I have been informed of a bug in the game and that bug is first of all I didn't know this but you can use I thought you could only increment things in um packages of five in, in increments of five, you can, because that's what the arrow keys do. Um, if you press the plus button, it increments it in increments of one. Well, okay, so that's fine. But I have found, I've been informed of an error. If you hit the plus button for an untrained skill twice, so we spend 15 to make it five, and then spend um, one more to make it six, if you press the back arrow, which buys and sells in packages of five as opposed to one, if you press the back arrow, it is one point and you gain back those five points that we shouldn't get back, but we do because of this bug. And, and I understand why. It's because when you go five like that, you lose 15 and then one more, and then you hit the back, and the back arrow goes in increments of, of five. So you get back, uh, well, actually that was more than, that was, uh, yeah, you get, five, you get about five points. So <laughs> you cannot do plus one as an increment. Um, oh, and in fact, I have screwed up the, <laughs> I have screwed it up, um, yes. So again, it is a bug. It's not intended to work this way. Um, and and you can see that because I accidentally lost points by, by playing around like I did. But um, so the way it's intended to work is you, you spend 15 to get that first five, spend 15 to get that first five, spend 15 to get that first five, and now we're out of points. But if you spend plus one, and then instead of doing the minus sign, which would take it back in increments of one, you do the arrow, which takes it back in increments of five, you get back five points, which brings us up to just enough points that we could get one point in each of these, which makes it trainable. Well, so what, right? We've got a really good game going where I've been let's playing us through as if I, I was playing for the first time and doing the act. Of, oh, look at this. What's this? Oh, how cool. What's this? Um, and acting like I haven't played this five million times before. And I really, really hate to inflict a start over on you guys um, in the middle of a let's play um, because I don't feel like that's nice or good or appropriate. Unfortunately, I tried and I tried and thought, well, I'll just finish out the game as my current hero. I'll finish out the Let's Play. And if I really, really need to have a max out hero, I can go make my own game before I before I import into the, the Quest for Glory 2. And, and nobody will ever know the difference. It's just going to be you. I can't do it. I have to start over because I really want to have a hero that has climbing. And I, I don't 
want to play the hero that doesn't have climbing if I can have a hero that has climbing. So this is a start over and I feel terrible. It's, I hate my brain. I do, but I just can't get around it. It's every time I sat down to do the other one, I just had this huge block and I couldn't even think of anything to say except, ah, everything is wrong now. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to label this one clearly as a do-over. I'm going to get us back to the to where we were in terms of plot and everything else, and then we'll just continue on perfectly normal, but with climbing. Um, so you guys can skip this video if you want. I will try to label it clearly, and then I will try to label clearly whenever we resume with the story. So, and the other good news is that if you are coming along for this, because you're glutton for punishment. Um, I'm not going to read all the talky-talky because we've already done the talky-talky. And so I'm just going to... Whoa! It went up, but... Ha! -ha! Okay, so it the, the 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 one didn't like it, but it did find it did go up while I was trying, and now we're up to okay, good. If you try to stealth and you have zero, it says you're about as stealthy as the average goon. If you try to stealth and you have one, it says the same thing, but it did actually train up until a level where we could. Um, and so I've also pulled up a um, so there's there's two things that make this let's play hopefully worth watching for those of you who want to stick with it. Um, besides the draw of hearing me speak, which many of you have said you like to hear, and that's actually, frankly, my favorite compliment because I'm apparently very um, uh, vain, but every time someone says they like listening to my voice or that they listen to my voice to fall asleep or whatever, I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I, I have a nice voice. Uh, <laughs> so um, so that's three things. One, one reason to listen to this is if you really just love my voice. One reason, um, despite the fact that we're going to be skipping through all the text and plowing through very quickly, I'm going to talk about the point system, which I haven't really been calling out as we go. And I'm going to talk about that here because... Uh, I pulled up a point system thing to, to check my math as I go. And then, um, what was the other thing? I didn't remember what the other thing was. Wow. I'm just completely. Okay. So the, um, the first things on the point system are, uh, for a fighter, the first time you parry or throw, you get one point for each of those. Cause those are your core skills for a magic user. The first time you cast a zap, which is a magic spell that we don't have access to. Only the magic user can get the zap spell. It's a spell that um, basically electrifies your your weapon so that it does more damage. Um, and it's a shame that we can't pick that up, but we also wouldn't really, I don't think, use it much. So it's fine. And then for the thief, you get one point each for, um, well, it's either one point each or one point for doing one of them, I'm not sure which, but you get one point for climbing, throwing, picking locks, stealth, and making the thief sign. Um, a friend of mine asked, hi Ben, anyone can make the thief sign. It does not do a check to make sure that you're a thief. So that's why we've been able to go to the Thieves Guild as a fighter. Um, which to me, again, I think that makes sense. I'm glad that it's not limited to a thief because why wouldn't a fighter be able to learn to be a... Uh, whether you're a thief or not isn't a question of skills or correspondence course. It's a question of what you're willing to do and who you're willing to be. So I don't see why a fighter wouldn't be able to join. You're not going to convince me that Crusher in the tavern is just hecka stealthy and that's how they got him into the... Th He's a fighter. So anyone can be a member of the Thieves Guild and I think that's accurate. Um, okay. So, first point we can get in the game is just to ask the sheriff um, anything. Anything that he actually knows about. Anything he's willing to talk about. There we go. That was one point for asking him about Wolfgang. Um, second immediate point is to exit the town. Which, I love the music for that. <laughs> um, the point guard guide that I'm looking at, which, uh, by the way, is... I should link in the comments. It's uh, something I googled. Um, 
the point guard guide. <laughs> I keep saying point guard. That's a basketball term, isn't it? I don't do sports, but I think it's a basketball term. <laughs> the point guard. <laughs> so my mouth keeps making that word instead of guide. The points guide notes that the safe places to sleep um, include the stable and the inn, which we've been to both of those. Irana's Peace and the Dryad's Corner. I didn't know we could sleep there. It makes sense because that's a safe spot of the forest. It just, um, it would feel rude to me <laughs> to sleep there, but apparently you can. Um, so we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go through this quickly. Inventory is uh, four gold, and so basically we have 50 silver. And this is the Adventurer's Guild Hall. So we're going to read the book, sign the book, and read the book again. I think you can get points for reading the book in any order, but without the... Um, reading it before you sign you don't get the clue about the baronet and uh, the flying falls we're gonna look at all the posters and that's um so signing the logbook is one point reading the adventurer's logbook is four points reading the quest board is six points talk to man Ask about curse. That's one point just for talking to him, asking about him about anything that he has information on. Um, I don't think any of the asks about are tied to specifically a, a certain question, which is good. Oh man, oh, I'm so sorry. I just saved over. God damn it. Well, if I wasn't committed to this already, I saved over our. Um, well, actually, the seven was... That's actually not so bad. I had I had done the seven preemptively because this was supposed to be the seventh video. So um, thank you, past Anna, for doing the right thing. Because otherwise that would have saved over our last progress at six and that would have sucked. Uh, not that I plan to return to that game, but I do need to check my stats. Although I guess I could check the last video. Um, so... Ask about magic... That's one point um, to talk to Zara and ask her anything. I am going to buy the fetch spell, even though I bought open first. And that should clear up. Yeah, that's most of our gold. Um, I bought open first because I felt like it was more in character for what we were doing. But fetch is more useful for just straight up um, using it. And here is where my point guard is. I did it again. This is where my point system is failing me because the list is um, more than the size of my screen and they did not make it chronological in terms of, um, cause I don't see Zara on here. There we are. Um, boy, that's way down on the list. Ask Zara about anything. Um, buying spells from her only gets points for the magic user. So it's actually interesting how they... Um, I think only gets for the magic user. It's interesting how the points are laid out because um, there's 500 points available for each character, but different character types get uh, different points for different things. And it still always adds up to 500. So how they manage to balance that, I have no idea. I'm kind of in awe of that. Ask about apples. I asked her something. So I believe... We need 40 apples. 10, 20, 30, 40. I would have thought it was 50, but I think it's just 40. Ask about flask. Buy flask. 
and buy another flask and there we go that's all we need from him right now and I think we should be broke yeah we got two silver we're going to give give silver ask about night that talking to him got us a point and he gives us the warning I don't think, oh, get note, yeah, I need that. Drop paper, put it back. Um, sit, ask about drinks, stand, and now we're gonna leave. Okay. So we've really got no reason to not just blow through this as quickly as possible. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Can I make it go just a little bit? There we go. We're just going to zoop. That means any enemies that come after us are going to instantly grab us. Let's wait for the fox to show up. There we go. Fox north of the road. Ask about trap, free fox. Okay, that's where we got the information to go find the dryad, which we probably would have tried to do anyway. Ah, oh, crap. I, uh, I pressed up the up arrow to fight him, and... Uh, the leftover up presses caused me to walk off the screen. Uh, ask about bargain. Give fruit. Oh man, we need one more. Well, we'll have to. I thought it was 40. Oh, it was 50 because cause that's what I wasn't sure if the 10 that I had left behind in his fist, I wasn't sure if that was enough. Uh, or I wasn't sure if that stayed counted. I thought it did, but I just went ahead and bought 50 right off the bat because I had an extra silver. I mean, why not? Um, so we need to get 10 more. So it is 50 apples. It's just that I, when I went and bought 50 and had 10 left over, um, I had already given him 10 and I wasn't sure if that still counted. Give apples. Okay, now we get a gem. Sweet. Um, stealth. Can I rest? I'm really upset that I couldn't loot the goblin. But he probably didn't have very much money anyway. They ne Goblins never do. We don't have any money, so there's no point in talking to Bruno just yet. Although I guess we could make thief sign. Bruno nods and makes the counter sign. Okay. I don't know if there's points to be had from talking to Bruno, but he literally won't talk to us without cash to pay him, so. All right, let's try this again. Point for looking at the, at the lake. Drink water. Whoops, can't spell. It's like I have a sign. Oh, <laughs> we missed the. Uh, there's a Easter egg, and um, we missed it because I was already going north. But uh, occasionally at the lake, you will see a periscope, as if from a submarine rise up midday get water we'll need that later for the dryads um dispel potion go this way i don't think it matters for points but look at the archery target it doesn't 
Hello, stag. More stag. Dryad, where apparently we can sleep. Didn't know that. Yes, I am definitely one with the forest. So she tells us to go bring us seed. Can do, ma'am. Let me get mushrooms. One, two, three. We got three points for that. Talk to Neeps. They're really talking about us. Okay, ask about Meeps. We are happy Meeps. So that's one point for asking a green Meep about anything. I don't know why that was at the top of this point list, but there you go. One point for asking the dry goods salesman that's cast for about everything or anything. Um, we got a point for asking the sheriff about anything. Let's say ask about green fur ask about ask about magic okay take scroll take fur uh, what happens if we cast detect here you detect no magic here. You think they're magic, but apparently not. Um, let's head back to town. This is the graveyard. There's the farm. So ask him about his farm. That's one point to talk to him. Ask about leader is another three points. Um, we get one point for entering Lake Spiegelies. I do not think, well, I don't want to cast the fetch belt. That was the whole point I wanted to climb. So uh, knock on the door. Ask about components. That's two points to talk to her. Uh, give mushrooms. And now we're not uh, poor anymore. Let's go talk to Bruno, because I can't remember if that's a point or not. Um, ask about Baba Yaga. Give silver. Give more silver. Ask about Baba Yaga. Okay, so I don't think we got anything for... Oh, we did. We got two more for his little... Try the dragon's breath. Yes, greed, Bruno. Climb tree. We're not going to do very well at this. Now we're going to tire ourselves out. But we are going to get climbing points, which is awesome. <laughs> we, we flail. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a while, too. I think you need a skill of 30 to climb the tree. I prefer climbing just from an aesthetic um, choice because it leaves the nest intact. And granted, we never see the bird return to it. But I like to believe that the bird does return to it, but just flies away when it sees us coming. And no one will tell me otherwise. We're up to 14 climbing. You can do it, hero. I believe in you. What time is it? It's mid-afternoon. And we're very tired. So... Let's give that up for now and go to the open gate. Ask about gate. Ask about baron. Okay, that uh, 
Yeah, talking to Carl. I don't see it on this list, but talking to Carl gave us several points there. Open gate, please. Talk to man. Ask about, I don't know, swords. Okay, that got some points. Ask about Baron. They don't talk, or they're not willing to talk to you. Neither does he. That's fine. Don't mind me. Sorry. Just passing through. Yes, we want some work. Okay. So we got some money. That's nice. And we're going to sleep in the stable if it's, if we can. There we go. in the last one and I don't understand um don't crash don't crash don't crash go crash hang on okay we're back that's so weird I never I don't know if it's a gog thing or what? But I mean, I've played this game a million billion times as a kid and never had any crashes. Never. It's very vexing. Yes, I'm here for work. actually think that we got any points for sleeping here um which is fine I uh I wasn't sure if there was points for sleeping in the stable or not back to climbing the tree today we will we will master the tree Gonna master that tree. Any second now. Gonna do it. Not gonna beat us. There we go. Climbed that tree like a boss. Okay. I get nest. Would be too messy to stow in your pack and it doesn't appear to be good for anything. Fine, get ring. Whoa, and we fell. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes when you go out on a limb. So that was a failure of agility. Climb tree. Get ring. Remember what happened to Humpty Dumpty? Yeah, we gotta watch our health points because um, you can die this way. We may have to up our agility some other way first. You carefully bend down and reach into the nest. In the nest, you find a gold ring. You carefully take the ring and move back along the limb. We did it! Made it! Now back down the tree! Heck yeah! Nicely done. Okay, knock on door and give a ring. And that's some money that we very desperately needed, so. All right, what time is it? It's mid morning. Uh, 
and I, I turned the speed down because I wanted to give the tree its just um, treatment. Climb rocks. And that was almost too easy. <laughs> almost like climbing a ladder. So we're going to uh, climb back down. Uh, get rocks. Get rocks. Get rocks. Throw rock. Now I thought you got one point for throwing if you were a fighter because it said so on the points list but either it has to be a successful throw which we haven't yet or it was wrong because yeah we didn't get any points for that I don't think. Come on up just climb the ladder. Okay so drop rocks. I picked up too many and now we're going to have to drop all 16 of them individually. But I don't want them cluttering up my inventory. Okay, anything else in there? No. Climb ladder. Knock door. Go on in. Sit. Ask about Henry. That gave us a couple points. Ask about magic. Ask about scroll. Yes, please. Get scroll. Drop paper. Okay, stand. Nice to meet you, sir. Climb ladder. The safe places to sleep didn't mention um, Ernie's uh, deal on this points list, but you can sleep there. Uh, all he asks is, um, he does ask for a ration. And uh, he also um, asks you to play cribbage. And he also essentially talks all night long, so you don't get much sleep at all. So it's not restful. Um, I'm an introvert, and the first time I tried sleeping there, and oh, <laughs> bye open. I can't believe I did that. Um, and I'll wait on this uh, plain door. The first time I slept in his cave. Uh, and I found out that you didn't you didn't sleep well because he talks all night. It was like a physical pain in my chest. Like no, no, someone talking to me while I'm trying to sleep. That's that's there's no greater form of torture. <laughs> so, um, I I always found that funny that that's included because it, it actually is a really good detail in terms of. Uh, how unpleasant that would be for, for many of us. Alright, cast open. Uh, get scroll. Get scroll. I don't think read rock. I don't think that uh, read rooms. No points for that. There is a point for eating the fruit. Two points, actually. Get flowers. Um... Okay, so, checking my points list, one point for seeing the lake, two points for eating the fruit of the tree on Arana's piece, um, one point for giving alms to the beggar, one point to ask the beggar about anything. Uh, it said one point for throwing rocks at the hermit store if you're a fighter, uh, one point to cast open on the hermit store if you're a uh, magic user and one point to climb the cliff and knock on the hermit store so you can enter if you're a thief. But I didn't think we got points for any of that. Um, so I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that at all. Five points it says to enter the hermit's cave. Two to ask the hermit anything. Um, four if you're a mage to ask about the trigger spell and he summons it so you can get trigger. But we're not a mage. Uh, one for signing the adventurer's log. Four for reading the adventurer's log. Six for reading the quest board. One for talking to the guild master. Three for picking mushrooms from the mushroom ring. One for selling the mushrooms to the healer. 
five points for working in the stable and the castle. Um, two for talking to the healer about anything. Um, oh man, I wonder if we got that wrong then. It says for the fighter, you could get three points for throwing rocks at the nest at the tree. Three points for a magic user to catch fetch. And three points to climb the tree if you're a thief. So actually, I think... Hmm. The points list is uh, uh, divided out by character type. But I think you just get three points for doing it, no matter how you... In fact, we should be able to test that. Hold on, let me look at the seed. That'll be the... That'll be the... Okay, so sure enough, it says... Eight if you're a fighter to throw a rock at the spore spitting seed. Eight if you're a magic user to fetch it. And eight if you're a thief and you climb and catch the spurious seed. So I'm actually going to use fetch because to me it makes more sense to do that than to throw rocks at it. I think that's ridiculous. And yes, we could climb, but I would rather practice my fetch spell. There we go. So... Yeah, we got eight points for that, even though we did it the magic user way. So yeah, okay. So this is that that was that was a cool thing. I I, I said before, and I I say it again. I like how the game doesn't lock you into certain um, paths just because you're a certain character class. If you want to cast fetch to get the seed, you still get eight points. You don't have to do it the fighter way. All right, 10 points for giving the ring to the healer. All right, we're good. Let's go take the seed back to the dryad. And as you can see from me speed running this thing, and this isn't even a proper speed run because uh, I, a speed run would be even faster than this. Whoa. But uh, as you can see, you can also type sneak instead of stealth. Um, we could have been doing way more on the first couple of days than I actually was because I was... I was role-playing an actual guy who didn't know what was going on. Oh, yes. You can actually eat this acorn. And uh, as far as I know, that makes the game unwinnable because then you can, there's no other way to get a magic acorn. I really would have preferred, you know, some kind of something that says, no, you can't eat the magic acorn that you need in order to win the game. But no, it will happily let you eat that acorn. Doesn't kill you, doesn't give you game over, just... See, there, the nest is still intact. I don't know, it just, it bothers me that the other methods destroy the nest. There should be a... There should be a way to, um... Put it back with the fetch spell. Um, give fur. Give water. Give flowers. So that's all, all she needs left is fairy dust. All right, we're just zooming right along. What time of day is it? The other neat thing about uh, this playthrough being a little bit faster is now we know the time wasting trick for um, having Crusher throw us out of the tavern in order to make the day go faster, which is really a great trick, and I wish I'd known that years ago. Ask about guild. You got Crusher upset. Boom. The only downside of this is it does take some health away. Ask about guild. Wow, that's not how you spell about. Rest. Sunset approaches. Do we have a... Yeah, it only takes two health points, so... 
um, ask about guild. All right, night time. Great. What fun we had. All righty, so make sign. Here I thought we were gonna make some money. Find Crusher in the password and give him the tavern. Oh, or the pass. Find Crusher in the tavern and give him the password. I just realized that my pens are still down on the floor. The password is Purple Saurus. See, before, if you recall, it was Deutschmark. And um, it, it changes each game. It's randomly generated. So if you were. To, it is so funny because nothing else, to, to my knowledge, is randomly generated in this game. Um, so, but they randomly generate the Thieves Guild for some reason. So anyone can make the sign, and it doesn't test to make sure you can make the sign. Anyone can make the sign, but. You have to specifically go and get the change password every time. I would love to know what was the one <laughs> programmer that was randomly generating that each time and what did he think he was doing? <laughs> but okay, um, we've got enough money to buy a license. Buy license. And we can buy a lockpick. We don't have enough for a... Um, uh, the... the, the, the what am I looking for? Ask about brigades. Okay. Um, play game. We don't have enough for the master cool toolkit. So um, we're going to bet 30. Because I think he'll let us win 30. Wow, we are bad. But that's okay, he's being bad to lure us in. That wasn't too bad, that was pretty good actually. Way to go us! You got me that time, you're pretty tough. Alright, save the game. Yes, we'll play again. Let's see if we can do 35. I'm extremely self-conscious watching, having you guys watch me save scum because I feel some very mild guilt about save scumming for cash in this game, but there, oh wow, bullseye on that one. Way to go us. I don't actually think that your accuracy improves as your throwing skill does, which is a shame. Because that would be kind of cool, but at the same time, go to 39 throwing. Do 35 gold or silver again. Gold would be nice. Like the angle and force do matter because, as you've noticed, when I was playing for for one silver to to up my throwing, our aim was terrible because I wasn't even trying. Um, so the, the placement and stuff does matter, but there's some kind of randomness to it that oh, you are so exhausted, everything hurts. Better get some rest. Shall we play again? I'm pretty sure we're at his limit. Okay, yeah. So you think you're hot stuff. We'll see about that. Restore game. No, we're good for now. Uh, client. Oh, actually. Yeah, we'll go ahead and buy the toolkit. Buy toolkit. There you are. Climb ladder. Sneak. Um, so we're super, super tired. So, oh, and we have no lock picking skill right now. We need to go do the healer's uh, trick first. So instead we're gonna go into the hero's tale for the first time. Hello. Uh, ask about Kata. That gives us one point. Um, ask about Merchant. Okay, that's five points. Um, 
so there's a couple of ways to treat the merchant. You can give him your meal, you can give him a silver, and you can also let him order his own meal. And I don't remember the exact wording for that, but I like that one because um, I'm actually going to look it up because there's a, some flavor text to it that I like. This is going to drive me nuts. I don't remember the parser for it. And that's the tricky thing is, is how to get the game to know. <sighs> Cause if I buy food, Buy meal. If I if I buy meal, she brings it out for us. Um, See, then she brings you out food yourself. Um, treat didn't work. Order meal for merchant didn't work. Um, what is the option? Is it only in a VGA? It might only be in the VGA. That's possible too. So there's a there's an option with Abdullah Do, and it might only be in the remake, but um, okay, we'll just order a meal where you can treat him to a meal, but it's not the meal you ordered. You you basically like say. Um, so that didn't even up our score. Stand. Give silver. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll, we will order a proper meal because we haven't had anything to eat. Um. So yeah, there's a version, and maybe it's in the the, the remake, but um, you can basically say, I'll treat you to whatever you want, and he tells Shima, um, I'd like to have, and he orders something a little bit different from whatever the, the, the usual menu is, and it takes several hours to make it, but he's, I'm willing to wait, you know, and it's... It's an interesting character moment because it, it kind of illustrates his character. He loves food. He loves quality. Um, he's hungry, but he's he's willing to to wait for a better version of you know this meal that he wants to have as opposed to the meal that she already had prepared. Um, but it's also kind of slightly um, I don't know if selfish or entitled is the word, but um, you know he's making Shima work harder to pull. It. He's like, oh no, I'm living on the charity of my friends. Oh, here's some money, Shima, go make me a special meal, please. Um, so it was kind of a neat little character moment of of showing him as kind of a. Sort of spoiled, sort of entitled, but you know, at the same time, um, he's a good man and a sweet man. 
uh, but but a little silly sometimes. Um, but I, for the life of me, I cannot remember or figure out how to how to do that. I, and again, may, maybe it's only in the VGA, but I didn't think it was only in the VGA. So anyway, supposedly we got points for eating a meal and for sleeping there. I don't know if we did or not. Um, oh, we didn't talk to Sheena. Ask him about Sheena. Okay, buy, I don't know, coffee. I don't want a whole meal. Drink. Stand. Okay, now we'll leave. How much do we have? We've got one gold in the server, so not very much. But that's okay, we've got a lockpick now, so what more could we need out of life? What are our stats look like? Throwing, climbing, magic. Okay, so pick lock. Are we increasing? Yeah, we're up to 12. And we can only get this one up to like 60, I think. And then we have to do the nose thing. It's kind of cute that this is the best place to practice, at least up to 60, because the, the door is barred, so there's no there's no tr chance of us accidentally going in. And it's very much in character that the healer just wouldn't notice somebody scrabbling at her door for hours. She's got all that stuff boiling and, and bubbling away, and plus she's just kind of absent-minded anyway. So I, I think it's a cute character moment that she doesn't notice this. You can... Um, practice lockpicking in the town at night. Uh, the problem with that is if you stick around in one place for too long, you make too much noise and the sheriff will come and find you and go, what's all this then? And that's a game over. So back in the day, before I knew about this healer's trick, uh, I would grind by doing like three or four locks on a screen, going to the next screen over, doing three or four locks there, Going back, doing three or four. Okay, so we're at 60. That's as much as we're going to get on that. I'm going to rest for a few minutes. Open gate, please. Yes, I am. It's still dawn. Yes, we would like some work. Oh, man, I need to be saving before that in case it crashes. I still don't know why it crashed. But it didn't just crash because we we uh, raped. It crashed because we uh, um, pay less than. Yeah, we got points for that because we are a fighter. Okay. The art of dancing would be a good skill for you to practice, my friend. The balance of the body over the rapidly moving feet has won many a contest. I read that one because that was a uh, one we haven't gotten in our Let's Play thus far. He does give good advice. I didn't like him as a kid because yeah, he's an arrogant stuffed shirt. But um, he actually does give good advice and I like him now more as an adult. I mean, he is a stuffed shirt, but we're also a literal nobody who just wandered into town one day. So why should he be um, effusive to us? I get it. Okay, we have an empty flask. Why do we keep picking up paper? I swear, we're just accruing it. Getting kind of low on rations because I keep eating at the... Uh, once you start eating and sleeping regularly at Irana's Peace, you basically never have to eat any other food ever again because the um, fruit is just... It satisfies you for a whole day. Uh, and it's, it's actually funny because um, Irana's Peace is... If you were just thinking about it from a gameplay perspective... Irana's piece is totally freaking broken because the sleep there is more restful than any sleep anywhere else. And it's also free because uh, if you sleep at the Hermit's Cave, that costs a ration, which is one silver. If you sleep in town, it costs five silver. If you sleep at 
Will he still throw us out? Oh, actually, we don't need to ask him about, about guild. We can uh, we can go downstairs and practice our throwing. If you sleep at a, a anywhere else, it costs money. But Irana's Peace not only doesn't cost money, it's actually more restful than anywhere else in the game. And similarly with the food, any other food in the game costs um, one silver if it's a ration, or one silver if it's, uh, well, actually it's it's a portion of silver if it's fruits or vegetables from Hildy's cart, um, and then three silver if you're buying food from the Kata Inn. But Irana's food is free and lasts longer and is more filling. And so just from a gameplay perspective, Irana's piece is totally broken because it's better stuff for free. And you would think it should be the other way around, that the better stuff should cost money. You know, okay, sure, put Irana's piece in there and it's a free option for people who don't have any cash, but don't make it better is, is the, the gameplay answer. From a character answer, though, and a world-building answer, um, Irana is, and we'll later find her out, she's, she's a, a mainstay character in the series. Iran was one of the most powerful wizards on Earth and was basically this amazing fairy with this hippie love and peace mission of making the world a better place, um, but also with a, 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 a grounded sense of what reality is. She didn't have her head in the clouds. She was just an all-around very cool person who was incredibly powerful and used her power. Oh, sure, now he's letting us win. Um, jerk. If I put down 30, will he start being good again? You can't bet what you don't have. Do I not have any cash at all? I really don't. Wow. Um, so, from a world building perspective, it makes sense that Irana's uh, resting places would be more powerful than a measly inn or hermit's cave or, you know, food created by mortal hands. And I love that because... Oh, no, he's going to take all our money. Um... A lot of times... Game developers do things for the gameplay mechanics as opposed to for the story. And you've, I'm sure, heard me rant in my previous videos about this doesn't make sense, it was just a gameplay thing, blah, 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 blah. And uh, the Sierra games, to me, didn't fall into that nearly as much as most games are. I mean, they were making a good game, they wanted to make a good game, but the lore was... To me, it seems like the lore was more important to them than the gameplay mechanics being artificially hard for 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 the player. And you see that with um, with things like this, where the free resting place and the free food is uh, more valuable than the. Um, than the uh, paid versions. And as counterintuitive as that is for a game, it helped build up the lore of Arana. And you remember her. If, if, if Arana's piece was just this random place that you slept at the beginning when you were poor, but then after that you moved to the, the inn because it heals you more or something, you probably wouldn't leave the same impression. In later games, when you run into references to Irana, if you've played the first game, you're like, oh crap, Irana! You know all about, well, you don't know all about her, but you, in, in fact, the game has very little about her, but you've 
you've got her in your mind as somebody pretty freaking awesome and important because you slept in her valley like <laughs> 20 million times. Okay, let's play for one. He's uh, he's going back and forth with me on the whether I'm hot stuff or not. And I don't actually... It would have been nice to max out our throwing score, but I'm... Uh, I'm really just doing this to pass the time. Oh man, it's still not, still not night yet. I really thought it would be. Well, fine. Means we have to play some more throwing games. Fine. Looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. I can't help it every time he says that. I need some hot stuff, baby, tonight. Nope, still taking us for all we're worth. I wish you could ask him beforehand, are you going to take this one seriously or not? But at least it's nice of the game to make it clear to you so we don't spend the first uh, round meticulously aiming. That would be really annoying. No. Climb ladder. Rest. Rest. Good, it's nighttime. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to cut the video here. And actually I need to uh, call this one Aaron Aid. I'm trying to name them for each video because I don't wanna lose my progress. I'm gonna cut the video here and um, when we come back we'll start robbing people. How does that sound? Um, once again, I'm really sorry for making you guys, uh, for doing a do-over. Um, I will label this as, um, I'm not sure yet. I will label it in some way that you can skip if you want. And then eventually we'll get back to where we were and we'll pick up with the proper let's play. So thank you guys for being patient with me. My brain, um, my brain appreciates it. It's, uh, it's not the best brain in the world, but it's the only one I have. So <laughs> I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. Bye-bye.